Hey everyone, Felipe here. Welcome to another Tower of Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at one of the new jackpot cards from the new seal, Vivacious Dragona Javanor. This is going to be a light dragon card and is a leader for mono light teams. Her leader skill is team attack times 7, HP times 1.3, and when the team has only light members, HP, attack, and recovery also increase additionally by 1.5. Additionally, by dissolving character or race runes, your team attack increases by 3.8 additionally. Now let's take a look at her team skill, which will complement her leader skill before I tell you my opinions about her leader's potential. For her team skill, we have that CDs of Light Dragons will have a minus 8 after entering the stage, 3 seconds of extra movement time, Light, Dark, and Heart runes possess the effect of other runes, and we're triggering character runestones, you get an additional 4 seconds of regardlessly movement time, and sticky runes will be ignored. Additionally, by dissolving character or race runes, your combo count increases by 6, and the first 8 runes to be dropped must be enchanted light runes. So in my opinion, as a leader, she is actually pretty good. Her attack multipliers are there. She has a x7 attack multiplier, a 1.5 additional, and a 3.8 team attack increase whenever you dissolve character or race runes. Furthermore, she does have a giant chunk of attacking runes whenever you dissolve uh, your first batch because the first 8 runes to be dropped will be enchanted light runes, which means that you will be getting attacking runes no matter what you do in the round. Uh, however, the one thing that is a little bit tricky with her is that you do not have a consistent way to generate race runes. Character runes, you can always choose one of your characters. However, if you don't have any light runes on the board, you will not be able to dissolve these character runes and you will lose out on this 3.8 attack bonus as well as a plus 6 combo um, extension. That means that if you are able to generate, uh, consistently generate race runes or use character runes every single round, her damage output is, go is going to be really good. However, if you are not able to dissolve race runes or character runes, her attack and damage output will be a little bit lackluster because you are losing out on this attack multiplier and the combo count increase. So, in order to circumvent these, you have a couple options. You can always run Wukong or you can run Ersa. Ersa is a CD1 uh, converter that can generate one light human rune or depending on how many combos uh, accumulated rounds you have she will be able to generate more so ersa is going to be a really good team member for javanor she will be she will give you race runes every round and allow you to trigger this 3.8 attack multiplier another member that you can consider is white dragon horse it was an arena redemption card back in the day it is cd3 and also generates a bunch of race runes for you to use uh, but yeah however as a standalone javanor has a will struggle in generating race runes which means that you will need to rely on your team members to get this 3.8 attack uh, bonus so in my opinion as a leader she will be pretty fun to play but you do have to focus on getting those race runes, otherwise her damage output is going to be a little bit lackluster. I'm quite excited for her actually, because it is a light leader, uh, light dragon, uh, which means I will be able to use like Colin, Daulot, etc. And she also has access to the entire light pool, which means that uh, she is going to be a pretty good leader in my opinion, because light cards have a lot of utility cards and a lot of yeah, very good members that you can add to her team, which means that it will be pretty fun to play, and I'm really excited about her. But yeah, overall, I do think she is a good leader. Uh, compared to any other collaboration cards, she might fall a little bit behind, but overall, I do think she is... Um, she looks pretty fun, uh, but she might fall behind a couple of the tier 0 or like the top teams in the game. Man, now let's take a look at her active skill. This is going to be a CD7 skill with the following effect. Release the locked skills of all members. The skill will be not locked. Will be not locked. Will not be locked. There we go. Explode heart runes to generate light dragon runes. And for each runestone exploded, you will recover 5000 HP. Additionally, for one round, you will weaken the attack of all enemies by 99%. 
So in my opinion, this active skill is completely amazing and definitely if if you already have a light leader, you still want to pull this card for this active skill. This active skill is going to be really good, a lot of utility and yeah, definitely worth getting. Um, and the reason is this is going to be the only universal unlock for light members. The cards that can unlock cards are usually or light teams are Kura Pika. However, Kura Pika, you need to switch first and you also need to activate it around before your skills get locked because he only prevents your skill from getting locked. He does not release your uh, active skills. The other light card that can unlock is Ultraman, but he can only unlock Ultraman cards, which means that Javanor is going to be the only light card that can universally unlock your entire team. And she does not have any race or uh, attribute limitations. So this is going to be a really good addition to utility cards. That being said, uh, in a mono dragon team, you have Bahamut, which is going to be a better unlocker. But this one will unlock cards for from different races and different attributes if you have her in your team. But yeah, definitely worth getting. The HP recovery is also pretty beneficial uh, for those uh, enemies that will lock your recovery or those enemies that bring your HP to 1, etc. And it also will allow you to survive for one extra round because 99% damage reduction is going to be really beneficial and also allow you to survive a lot of hits, especially if the enemy has initial shield or stealth, you can weaken their attack and still survive the hit and then kill them on the next round. So overall, this active skill is has a lot going on for it. It has an unlock, HP recovery, and also damage reduction, which is not a damage reduction. Uh, so even if the enemy has a phantom skill that ignores defense and damage reduction skills, you will still survive because their attack will be lowered. So it will not kill you even though it ignores damage reduction or defensive skills. So this is going to be a good defensive skill because it ignores the enemy's attack rather than increase your defense, if that makes sense. Just keep in mind that this skill usually doesn't work against uncontrollable enemies. So just uh, take a look at the stage info before you try to block one of those attacks and get yourself killed. Man, yeah, overall, I do think her active skill is pretty amazing and definitely worth getting. That being said, she is a jackpot card. So um, if you don't have the diamonds, Maybe you can make do with just Kurapika or Bahamut for light teams and dragon teams. However, if you missed out on the Hunter Hunter collab, this is going to be the next best option for light cards to unlock your team members active skills. Well, so overall for this card as a leader, I do think she is going to be pretty fun. She does have the damage output for a meta team. However, she is going to fall behind some of the new black gold cards as well as collaboration teams as well as maybe jitun or um yeah she's going to fall a little bit behind jitun as a dragon leader but as a light leader uh she is going to be pretty good uh so pretty excited to play her uh, but just keep in mind she won't be super broken in my opinion and then her active skill completely amazing definitely worth getting and it's going to be a good utility card even after she falls out of the meta. Yeah. That's all I had to say about this card. Please let me know in the comments if I said anything wrong or if I missed anything. And as always, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower of Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.